The Questioning Mania From Mind A Quarterly Review of Psychology and Philosophy Edited by George Croom Robertson Volume 1, 1876 Page 413 This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Under the name of Grubelsucht, Greisinger a few years ago described three examples of a peculiar mental condition characterized by continuous uncontrollable questionings as to the origin and causes of things great and small. Dr. Oscar Berger, parenthesis, Archiv für Psychiatrie BD 6 Heft 1, in parenthesis, describes two similar cases and considers the symptom in detail. The condition has very distinct pathological relations, but does not seem to have been associated in any case with insanity. The sufferers were, for the most part, men of early adult life. In some cases, other symptoms indicative of irritable weakness of the nervous system were present. The symptom was a transient one, and quite different from the habitual mode of thought. There was an incessant, subtle questioning as to the grounds of all things, a continuous why and wherefore, accompanying every idea to the great annoyance of the sufferer. It was not quiet reflection, but a continuous, irresistible pressure of thought, constantly seeking impossible answers, and ever recommencing, disturbing, and even alarming the sufferer. How is it that men are only of the size they are? Why are they not as large as houses? Why are there not two suns and two moons instead of one? The same questions in new forms would occupy the sufferer for hours. In one case, the first symptom was a kind of morbid precision, an impulse to secure at any expense of time and trouble an absolute accuracy in the most trivial things. The patient soon after began the questioning and was speedily in a labyrinth of problems, the solution of which he felt compelled to attempt, although conscious of its impossibility. In the other case, the condition was constantly present in slight degree, but was subject to paroxysmal exacerbations in which the patient was conscious of a peculiar mental dualism or separation of his mental powers, one part rushing into all possible and impossible speculative regions, while the other, the temperate judgment, endeavored to quell the excited questioning. The attacks lasted one or several hours. Other characteristics of this patient's permanent mental state were a peculiar realism, so that it was difficult for him to believe that that which he dreamed or read of was not fact, and a peculiar sensation of change in the relative proportions of himself and the objects by which he was surrounded. Dr. Berger assumes that a morbid state of the cerebral convolutions underlies this condition. He points out that the pathological phenomena have certain physiological analogues, which are tolerably familiar. End of The Questioning Mania From Mind, The Quarterly Review of Psychology and Philosophy, Volume 1, 1876